Hey guys, and welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Cold. In the last episode, we crossed the treacherous high seas and got to Seenwood Town. We got the secret potion to take back to that woman and whatever her face is. Uh, well, you all know where she is, and we fought using right here at this very spot. Some of a bitch ambushed us. Anyway, I actually did some work off screen, and this is going to be the last episode of the night. I will not be getting to Jasmine in this recording session because. I was training off screen, as you can see I got everyone up a couple levels except for Staryu. He gets no love. Uh, and the thing is, I was going back to Goldenrod City to uh, get some more healing items, and let's just say that when you use the speed of function, you know, this thing, if you use the speed of functioning when entering an area, not all the area will load by the time you get in there, which will cause the entire ROM to crash. And if that happens, it doesn't matter how many times you saved beforehand. Uh, it doesn't register. The ROM needs to close down properly in order to save the saves, if that makes sense. And yeah, uh, I wound up having to backtrack right back to the start of where the last episode was, so that kind of stinks. But anyway, we're here now. I, you know, did everything I was supposed to do off screen. So yeah, let's do this. Jasmine and my bonus video will be in the next episode. He's so into his training, he doesn't seem to notice you. That douche. You, fight me. Yay, you're bound together by friendship. Friendship will never be broken. Don't care, gonna kill you both. Well, not kill, but... Yoshi! And this is why I want him at least at this level, because... Hitmonlee is annoying. But still dead. That's why. If I wasn't, if I was on a lower level, that might not have gone so well. This is real. Y yes, yes, it is. Anyway, uh, switching to you. Here we are. Apparently, what you have to do is you have to try to s hit both switches and destroy the waterfall. I think, which is much better than the crappy little strength puzzles they had you strength puzzles they had you do last time. We fear nothing. Except Chuck Norris. You must fear Chuck Norris. Black Belt Lao. Hit Mon Chan. Whoa, look at those fists full flying. Um, I believe he knows fire, ice, thunder, and mock punches. So yeah. Annoying. Come on, show your defensive strength. Not bad. Now poison him, you son of a bitch. Oh, that, that worked out better than I thought. Now, I know they're strong to Dark-type moves. Wow, huh, that was even dumber than before. Yeah, ugh. The only thing about coughing is his only Poison-type attack is a special attack. I swear to God, if you freeze me, I'll kill you. Whew, close. Yeah, and the other annoying thing about coughing is that he's got crap health early on. Until he and his, you know, to begin with, his defense is actually pretty poor. So basically, he doesn't turn good until he evolves at level 33. So I'm kind of challenging myself here, which I don't like. I don't like challenge. Stop that! Stop punching me! And now you're dead. Poison vanquishes. Yay, you're dead, I killed you! These guys don't give that much money either. Oh wow, you admitted to fear. You just said you feared nothing. Oh, I forgot you could do this. Huh. What do you have to say for yourself? My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon! Sure, sure they will. Minky! He has two Mankings in Prime Ape, I believe. Either that or he's got a Mankey, a Machop, and a Machoke. Can't quite remember. That's the annoying part about Mankey, is they have Screech. Hopefully I can kill it before that becomes an issue. Yep. That was lucky, a critical hit. I have to remember not to talk so loud, my mic is right in front of my face after all. Ooh, Prime Ape. Good enough in the world, eh? Well, let's switch to my heavy hitter. 
After all, you are going to be the one taking out the gym leader's primate, so if you can't beat this one, you can't beat, you know, the gym leader. And that should do it. Menke's got less defense, uh, primate, rather, has less defense than Hitmont Lee, so... Eesh. Get more comfortable in my chair. And, yeah, might as well get you some more experience, you dumb little crap. I want to try to get him into a wheezing before the 6th gym. Fortunately for him, uh, wait, this is the 6th gym. No, this is the 5th gym. The next gym is the 6th gym. And the 6th gym, he's absolutely worthless for. A Jasmine is the 6th gym, and let's just say he might... He won't damage them whatsoever. And by whatsoever, I mean whatsoever. Oh dear god. The only thing he will be useful for in the next gym is self-destructing. And even that won't do a lot. Ow, my fingers. Alright, well that takes care of him. Yes, you got shattered indeed. If I had a, like a pure psychic or a pure flying type, this would actually be exceptionally easy. Yay! Words are useless. Let your fist do the talking. Excuse me, sir, but that's how wars get started. I would prefer not to start a war. My nerd voice is getting pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh dear God, I have no hope for life. <laughs> Live. Live and be well rewarded! Yes, you survived! You shall be well rewarded with experience, many, many levels, and lots of virgins. Wait, what? Oh boy. Haze. Eliminates every stat change for everyone in battle. No! Yes, give up on the move, Haze. Haze is like the worst move ever. Macho! Yes, I will switch because I don't want him dying, and I'd prefer to try to get Scyther up a level if possible. Yep, he'll gain a level from this. I swear to god, if I don't kill him in one shot, and this guy has hacked Rock Slide into his game, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> don't you dare, don't you dare, don't- okay, good. I've had annoying things where certain trainers will have, like, certain moves. There's this one Psychic on the route toward Akutik City that has a drowsy that's level 17, knowing hypnosis and germ eater. And I've had issues where this guy has used rock slide on a scyther. And oh god, does not end Yes! Does not end well, sorry. I've been wanting him to learn slash for a while. My final move set for Scyther is going to be Wing Attack, Slash, Night Slash, and um X-Scissor. Pure attack. I might get rid of Slash for Swords Dance, but that's just an if. Okay, well, um... Let me just put these guys in the order that I'll probably be using them for the Gym Leader since that was the last guy. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to be healing... Coughing in the event that I will use them, since I do like to use Meat Shields in my Gym Battles, because a lot of times I don't proper tactics and I wind up needing them, so... Oh dear god. I've been saying that a lot lately. Anyway, let's stop this waterfall. So you're telling me a winch, pulled by a 14-year-old kid, can pull up a ramp that's Pouring water onto this guy. Ah, oh, dude. A kid has enough power in him to turn a wench with all that opposing water pressure. How do the gears not snap on that winch? Are the gears made of steel or something? Because that looked like a wooden winch. Anyway, here we go. Why did you stop that waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training! I have to warn you that I'm a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That that's true. Fine! Let's just fight then! 
All right, let's kill him. Gym leader five, Chuck. Rather fat for a fighter. Starts off with a little twenty-nine. I underestimated a little bit. He, uh, in the previous game, it was level twenty-seven, primate. Probably knows dynamic, punch, and something else. If he knows rock slide, I'm gonna be annoyed though. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh dear god! He knew rock slide, but it missed. My entire plan was almost foiled right there. And his second is Polyrath. His Polyrath will, my guess, be level 32. No surf, dynamic punch, mind reader, and hypnosis. 31. Oh well. Unless his moveset changed from the original. I'm gonna try to poison him. Oh, he knows body slam. That's annoying. And that's even more annoying. If this doesn't poison him, I'm just going right to uh, the only reason why I'm I have you fighting. Well, I'm not gonna survive this, but eh, it was worth a shot. I should have just self-destructed right off the bat. See, I knew he wasn't gonna survive, so I was just gonna do a ton of damage as soon as I could. Oh boy. Oh, they know focus punch, not dynamic punch. Fuck! <laughs> oh, please get caught in the cycle where you constantly try to focus punch. You should have just surfed. Yay for Citrus Berry, you little hacker. Lost his focus, haha. Yes, he's caught in the focus punch cycle. Easy win is mine! He's probably gonna use a hyper potion after this. Ah! No, not yet! My hope is that if he wises up and uses Surf, the extra special defense will keep me alive. He's still in the focus punch cycle. Oh dear god, this guy's a oh, just you surf. Body slam even. Huh, <laughs> you lost your focus and couldn't move. Wow, you're really spamming them hyper potions, little son of a bitch. If I'd known you would have used another hyper potion, I would have used charge. Oh boy. He's not using focus punch. He's probably wised up. <sighs> I hate the focus punch hypnosis combo. It is one of my most hated combinations in any game in history. Meat shield! Meat shield! I should have probably foreseen that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wish hypnosis was one of the things that, you know, cured itself upon, you know, exiting battle. Well, bye bye, Staryu, you. you did your job well. Uh... Hooray for me, shields! Well, I will admit, that hypnosis threw me off. I thought he got stuck in the cycle of trying to use focus punch. Really, the best way to use, you know, fight someone who's spamming focus punch is to just keep attacking. And it works well here! And we win! We lost! Well, how about that? You're worthy of the Storm Badge. It's odd that a fighter gives you the Storm Badge. Shouldn't it give you something like the, you know, Kick Badge or something? Yay, focus punch. I'll never use that. It requires too much planning. <laughs> Yay, we win. 
That's seen words, and you must take this HM. Well, thanks, I guess. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly anywhere you visit it. Mommy! Mommy! Yeah, you bought more stuff for me. Thank you for saving my money. <laughs> oh, unconditional love my ass. He was starting to get chubby. Anyway, uh, that takes care of that gym, and as you can see, I've, I've had some losses, but nothing I won't be able to live through. Anyway, in the next episode, we are going to take the secret potion up to Jasmine and then defeat her in her gym. This has been Bishop Butter signing off. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to me. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys. Take care. Again, I love being back.